All right. Now we're doing trade code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 85. All right. So finally, we need to make the output ID element visible so the user can see our text. Our output variable is an element which has a class list property, believe it or not. Uh, this property has a remove method which accepts a string representing the class to remove from the element, okay? So we're gonna use the remove method of the outputs of the, pardon me, of the output variables class list property to remove the hide class. And we're not gonna to forget to place the word hide inside quotes, all right. So this one had me uh, all messed up. Because uh, when we type in remove method JavaScript right here, and we come here, we can see it says parameters none, right? Well, the thing is, we're not doing element remove method. We're doing a different thing. We're doing the class list remove method, which, okay, uh, whoops. So yeah, when we type in class list remove property, pardon me, class list remove method JavaScript over here, we'll come down and say blah, 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 blah. And we'll say remove. And it has the remove, to pardon me, the remove method of the DOM token list interface removes the specified token from the list, all right? So we'll do remove token like this. So uh, when we come down here for, to the examples, we'll see we've got const span equals document.get element by ID, all right? So that's just like this up here where we have uh, output equals document.get element by ID output, all right? Uh, pardon me. And then we've got Const classes equals span dot class list. So it's span dot class list. So in our case, it would be output dot class list. All right. And then we'll do output dot class list dot remove C like this. All right. Because classes equals this. So that's basically what we're doing. So, yeah, we would probably have to read this. The element class list is a read only property that returns a live DOM token list collection of the class attributes of the element. This can be used to manipulate. So this is really deep dive on this subject without any, uh, without any, you know, documentation right here, but whatever. Fact is that's how we're gonna do it. So let's go forward one more time over here. So we're gonna do output.classlist.remove and then we're gonna have the hide in here like that. So we'll do on 67, we'll say, whoops, output, output, and that's referring to this again, just to let you know, that's referring to this right here, output dot, dot class list, class list dot remove, and then we'll put in there hide like that. So yeah, welcome to a very impossible uh, free code camp lesson. So let's check the code, looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 86 and we'll see you next time.